business in the UAE really doesn't need to be difficult. My name's Jenny and I've been setting up businesses in the UAE and getting them registered for over 10 years now. And I see the same mistakes happening over and over again. And one of those biggest mistakes that I see is when organizations come into the UAE to set up their license and they will go directly to one of the free zones and take everything that that free zone says to them as gospel and set up their license there. What they're not necessarily aware of is that that free zone is looking after its own interests and not necessarily theirs. Now what I mean by that is a free zone license gives an organisation the authority to do business within the geographical boundaries of that free zone and with overseas companies. But if the company that's making the inquiry is wanting to do business across Dubai or not particularly in that uh, free zone's jurisdiction, then that license isn't going to be suitable for them. And they may not know that. So it's not unheard of for salespeople to say exactly what a prospective client wants to hear in order to get them to sign on the dotted line because they'll be earning commission. That's another thing to bear in mind. So what my recommendation would be for organisations looking to come and do business in the UAE and get registered here is to seek advice from a number of different organisations. Yes, go to the free zones. Yes, seek legal advice um, from many of the, the law firms that are here. And also speak to organisations like mine, which is the gateway group of companies. Because our approach is to find out exactly what you're wanting to do as a business where you're looking to do business in terms of who your clients are, where they're based. So we can help you to determine which is the right jurisdiction before we even get to the point of working out which is going to be the most appropriate license type for your business. You need to get the license in the jurisdiction where you're going to be doing business and that might mean getting multiple licenses. However, if you don't do this research up front to understand exactly what's right for your business rather than what's right for the salesperson's bottom line, you might get caught out and find that you end up getting set up with the wrong license and need to change it further down the line.